Hello Nation, welcome to another Edelman Report. Today we're going to talk about basal insulin requirements, obviously for people who take insulin, type 1s and type 2s on multiple daily injections of insulin. Now what is basal insulin? It's the insulin that's supposed to keep your blood sugars even, Stephen, even in the fasting state, in between widely spaced meals and overnight. And of course, the fast-acting insulin takes care of carbohydrates. We're not going to talk about that today. Now, the basal insulin is very important. In the non-diabetic state, people still secrete a little bit of insulin all the time, even if they're fasting, because it can prevent them from going into a pretty serious condition called ketoacidosis. Now, the perfect basal rate, whether you're on Lantus, Levomir, Degladec coming out soon by Novo, or with your insulin pump is that if you were not eating anything your blood sugars would be perfectly level and this is important because if your blood sugars creep up in the fasting state your basal dose is not high enough if your blood sugars start to creep down and you get hypoglycemic in between widely spaced meals or overnight, it means your basal dose of insulin is too high. Once again, either through the basal rate of your insulin pump or through your injection of Lantus or Levomir. Now, how do you test to see if your basal rate is correct? Well, to test during the day, you would get up in the morning, take your shot of long-acting insulin. If you take it in the morning, you might be taking it at night. Leave your pump on but do not eat and do not give any fast acting insulin and watch your blood sugars throughout the day up until dinner time. Uh, if you have a continuous glucose monitor, that's the best way to test it because you have a blood sugar every five minutes. If you don't have one, you need to get one, but, but if you don't have one, use a, your home glucose monitor, your meter, to test your blood sugars every 60 to 120 minutes and just follow your blood sugars throughout the day in the fasting state and your normal activities. Don't go out and run a marathon that day because that won't be accurate. Now, to test your basal rate overnight on a different day because you don't want to be fasting for 24 hours, have an early dinner and don't eat anything else and follow your blood sugars up until bedtime and through the night into the next morning. Once again, a CGM will help you tremendously because you don't want to get up at night to test your blood sugar every one to two hours. And once again, you need to look at your blood sugars in the fasting state and see if they go up or down. If you're on a pump, you could really fine tune your basal rate and have it go up at certain times of the day according to your blood sugars. And the last point is this. Typically, of your total daily dose, 50% of that should be your basal insulin requirements, whether it's the 24-hour basal rate in your pump or your full dose of Lantus or Levomir. If you're way off and your blood sugars are out of control, that may be the problem. So that's it, nation. We'll see you next time.